In this video, we're going to be talking about farming businesses. All the time. Okay. Farming businesses. Self-employed farmers report income on Schedule F. Uh, Self-employed farmers are considered just like regular sole proprietors, and they have a special schedule, Schedule F, instead of the Schedule C. Now, if a farmer is just renting his farmland, then that is not farm income and does not go on the Schedule F. There's a special form just for farm rental income, which is 4835. If you have a question on farming where they throw in the rental, somebody's renting farmland, then you guys should, like, alerts should go off in your head because that rent, renting of farmland is just like renting of a residential rental. It's not actual active income, it's not considered farm income, even though it's related to a farm. Okay? Okay, farm income also does not include the following. If you are an employee working on a farm, you're not a farmer. You're just an employee. Okay? So any wages received as a farm employee are not, um, is not farming income. Any gains received from the sale of farmland and depreciable farm equipment is not farming income. And that's been like a pitfall in the, in the past. If you sell farmland, what happens when you sell property? Is that ordinary income or is it capital gain? It's capital gain, right? So if you sell a rental house, you gotta figure out the capital gain, right? If you sell farmland, it's the same thing. It's not ordinary income, it's not business income. So you're selling assets, which is a different thing. So the gains received from the sale of farmland and depreciable farm equipment um, are not included in the farm income calculation. Okay, they gotta be on the return, but they don't go on the Schedule F. Gains from the sale of any securities, that makes sense, right? So if you have a farming corporation, a schedule of C Corp, and that farmer who owns the corporation decides he wants to invest in a little bit of Ford stock, that's totally fine, but that's not farm income. That's, that's capital gain, uh, that's capital gains and dividends. It's gonna be reported as securities income, okay? Passive income, okay. Remember that estimate, I'm not gonna go over this again. Remember the estimated payment rules. You might be asked that on part one, you know, because farmers can be sole proprietors, and you might be asked that on part two if they're asking general farming questions, okay? You gotta remember this special rule that only applies to farmers and fishermen. Okay, here we go. This, is, this was tested in a recent exam. This is a situation where only farmers are allowed to do this, and they get to postpone gain due to weather conditions. If they, it doesn't have to be a presidentially declared disaster, okay? It doesn't even have to be an involuntary conversion. It doesn't have to be like a flood or a horrible thing that happens. If there's a drought, like there is in California right now, if there's a drought, and the farmer has to sell more livestock than he normally would, he may postpone reporting the income from the additional animals until the following year. So he gets a year to postpone the income. Nobody else gets to do this, okay? And the only thing he has to do is attach a statement. So he has to put his, um, he has to write a little note that says, yes, I sold more hogs this year because of the drought in California. I am not gonna report the income until next year. So they get a year to postpone gain. Okay? All right. Now, crop insurance. Now, don't be confused by this. This is not the same thing. Postponing gain because you have to sell additional animals is not the same as if you get insurance because of crop disaster. Okay. You can, there's a certain, there's this thing called uh, government disaster payments, what, which farmers get if there's a destruction of their crops. Okay. A farmer can also elect to postpone reporting the income on a government disaster payment. They can elect to postpone the income until the following year. Maybe they need that cash this year to spend on other stuff and they don't want to pay tax. They can do that. They can postpone the reporting of the income from government disaster payments, insurance proceeds. However, there is also a different thing called agricultural program payments which is the government pays you to not grow anything. If the government is paying the farmer to not grow anything, 
That's not the same as government disaster payments, okay? Agricultural program payments also come from the government, but that is for, for, for foregoing of planting of crops. So I think you need to know these two terms. Agricultural program payments are not the same thing as government disaster payments. If you see disaster, the light should go off. So in this case, if a farmer um, sits on his duff and doesn't, and doesn't plant anything with an agreement to the government that he's going to get paid, he still he has to pay, he has to, uh, he has to report that income on Schedule F, there's no postponement, and the full amount of the payment is subject to self-employment tax, mm -hmm. even though he didn't do any work, right? Now you know why they do that, right? They do that because they don't want to like depress the grain prices or something like that. Mm -hmm. So there's a reason why this happens, but the, the, it is self-employment income because the tax, the farmer would have had income if he would have grown the crops, okay? Subscribe to Passkey Online for more great content about the Enrolled Agent Exam.